Hey guys, I'm going to do my 35th week pregnancy update. The last time I went to the doctor was actually, I was actually 34 weeks and 5 days, but I'm just going to say 35 weeks since, you know, it's kind of rounded off since I'm 35 weeks and one day right now. Just say my 35th week update. So it was Friday when I went to the doctor. I weighed 178, which means I've gained 27 pounds so far as pregnancy, which from just hearing about other people really isn't all that bad, just kind of average. So I'm hoping I can lose it fast after I have um, my blood pressure. Uh, Blood pressure was good, my pulse was kind of high, but it was 111. It's been high the whole time I've been pregnant, though. I was in the hospital one night in the beginning because they thought I had a blood clot in my lung because they got up into, like, the 150s. It was almost as high as the babies, so it was gotten pretty high, so. 111. It was just 111 for me. Looking down at some things on my notebook, so just kind of want to make sure I don't skip over anything. He'll either measure two weeks bigger or like right where he's supposed to be, and he measured right at 35 weeks. Last doctor's appointment, he was two weeks bigger, so no wonder I'm so uncomfortable some weeks because he'll like grow so fast in such a little amount of time and then he'll kind of catch up to where he's supposed to be. I don't know if maybe he measures differently from the way he's laying. Just, no. He's measuring normal now, right where he's supposed to be. Which is good because my doctor told me since my platelet count was low that if it dropped to a certain level that I can't have an epidural, which I've known, well, forever that I would always want an epidural, so I'm really freaked out about that. Like labor is such a big deal. Like that's like the most painful thing you can even experience, and I'm gonna I'd have to do it with no pain medicine. That's very scary. Like I can't even imagine that. I guess the normal platelet counts between. 150 and 450, or mine's 129,000. So I can't go dip further than 75. They're gonna have to do my blood again on April 1st, see if it's dropping any lower. So I'm really hoping it hasn't dropped any lower. My next appointment on April 5th, I'll be. 36 weeks in, 5 days, and that will be my last 2 week appointment and then I'll go every week after that. I've been on an antibiotic for bladder infection, nitro, um, Nitro furantin macro, something like that. It's a great pill that I have to take for seven days or twice a week. Today's my last day. I have to take it. It's Monday. I take my last dose tonight. And I kind of thought maybe I might be leaking fluid because it's just like, just a little bit. Like when I go to the bathroom, I'll notice like, some little, what looks like water. And, you know, still have the burning and everything, so I figured I just saw the bladder infection, which that came up good for the UTI, so that's almost out of the way at least. So I had her check me. It wasn't amniotic fluid. Said I probably had 
a yeast infection from the antibiotic. So now I'm on two antibiotics. At least I'm almost done with the first one. Fluconazole or something. I remember I didn't say that right, but this you only take took one on Friday and then I'll take another one until well tonight. But it's in my husband's gold box and I'm waiting on him to get back so I can take it. I guess it stays in your system for a few days. Since I wasn't done with the antibiotics, she thought it'd come right back if I didn't take another dose of it. She didn't check me since I was irritated, but she said that I could be dilated to one, but if I was dilated, that would probably be at the most, which is good since it's still kind of early. Um, but we'll see the next time I go in, they do the strep swab test thing to see if I have a strep infection. So I'll have her check me then to see if I'm dilated any. Which by then I'll be almost 37 weeks, so if I'm dilated a little, hey, that'll just be exciting to me. Be pretty exciting. Scary, but exciting. Oh yeah, that was pretty much, pretty much it. I'm so upset right now because I've waited all day to go bowling with my mom and my sister and in Indiana right now in springtime, it snowed yesterday and last night and some today and it's going to get worse later. So the roads are bad, and my mom doesn't have heat, and the, you know, nothing really works very well, and, you know, I decided not to go bowling, which I haven't even seen outside in two days. My husband's been over at my um, in-laws, and... Since it's supposed to get bad again tonight, he probably won't come home again tonight. And then my mind starts to wonder, it's like, is he even really over there? You know, I'm so bored. And then it's like, when I get up for too long, my back just hurts really bad anyway, so I don't really feel like going to sit down in a movie or going, walking around anywhere, just kind of, you know, bowling sound good, you know, getting up and then sitting back down. You know, relaxing and then getting up is like the perfect thing right now. I do have a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions. Sometimes they hurt a little bit. But I guess if it's, you know, really making me dilate or anything, then those be pretty painful. Sometimes they are pretty painful, but, you know, I think maybe I'll know if I need to go to the doctor or anything. But I think we're going to go bowling tomorrow instead of tonight. So I'm going to try to catch up on some of my videos. And yeah, I'll try to update you guys more frequently on the pregnancy and stuff. I'm making a list of stuff I want to pack. It's already a little outrageous. So I know I'm probably not going to use half of it, but... I'll let you guys see that later and see my bag and everything I have packed. Maybe you can give me some advice on to as what I'll use and what I'll not actually even use. Cause I know a lot of a lot of women, especially first time, you know, first time moms go overboard with what they bring in their hospital bag and then you know, you're sore, you feel like shit, you just want to relax afterwards and you don't even use half of it. I know I'll have more than what I'll need, but 
Maybe you can just kind of tell me in other words. I probably won't listen, but I might. I might not bring all of it. I'm going to wait till, you know, like 37 weeks and do maybe some labor walks to maybe, you know, get things going a little bit and stuff like that. So I'm working out. Maybe I'll actually have sex with my husband since it's been like, you know, two months or something. I don't know. I'm looking forward to getting closer and then getting more freaked out. I'll be a lot more reassured when I go into the doctor next if I'm, if my platelets haven't dropped and I know I'll get my epidural, then that'd be a lot more reassuring because I'm going to have to have that epidural. You know, a coloring book and crowns or something kind of childish but that I knew I think it would be good to bring up there. Most people probably don't think of because they might be waiting for a while and I might get bored. Who knows, I might be in excruciating pain the whole time and not even use it. Maybe like one of those squish stress reliever things. I kind of think maybe one of those would be good to take maybe. I'm going to show you my 35 week belly shot and up close on the stretch marks and whatnot. That's him. He's pretty big now. You can see stretch marks are the worst on my side. Got some on my back. My back was the first place I got them. I was trying to avoid getting them on the front, but I got kind of lazy with the cocoa butter and stuff. That's what I have in the front. Yeah, he's pretty big now. They said he was head down for like a month and a half now, but he looks up so high, it doesn't look like he's actually drop necessarily so I don't know what that how far down that'll actually mean he'll get when he drops since he still looks like he's up real high but he's head down I don't know not too much longer to go I'll try and update more have actual updates on the pregnancy